What's going on, kids? What up, pimps? Uh, welcome back to a modern Masters Magnetic Magneto Monster Draft. And this is actually Masters 25. It's not Modern Masters. I lied to you guys. I'm going to take this Urbis, Urbis Protector. This card is great. And if we can blink it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to take Urbis Protector. I don't care about ball lightning. I don't care about Stang. This guy, this guy Stangs, if you ask me. <laughs> that's a play on, it's a play on the word Stank. Look, let me just borrow like I don't know. It's not not even a lot. Like a hundred thousand arrows. Is that too much to ask for? Really? Is that a lot? I don't know arrows. Is that a lot? I don't know. I'll give him back. I'll pay you back. Like, when you're borrowing 100,000 arrows, like, are you going to give the same ones back? You're just giving new ones, right? You're just giving new arrows, but you're not going to get the same 100,000 back. I'm going to take this pacifism, because it goes great with our... I think it's probably the best card in the pack. And it goes great with our Urbis Protector. Angelic Page? This card was busted against me. Look at this guy with his goggles. Blightning seems like a good card for people who want to have and keep friends. <laughs> I feel like that's the opposite of true, right? I want Cloud Shift just because we have Reverse Protector, but I'm really going to take Angelic Page because this card is just great. What if you borrowed 100,000 arrows, but then you use them against the people you borrowed them from? Is that good strategy? That seems like a great strategy, right? Like, hey, man, let me borrow 100,000 arrows. And they're like, all right, I'll let you borrow that because we cool. And then you turn around and you're like, I'm going to take over your, you know, city, country, whatever with these 100,000 arrows. And then you're like, boy, this is awkward. I did not see that coming. I like Mystic of the Hidden Way. Hmm. I like Quicksilver Dagger a lot, though. Especially if we can get a Horseshoe Crabber, you know? But there's no fixing in the format. Oh, blast. I think it's just Mystic of the Hidden Way here. Especially because we can Cloud Shift it. Mystic is some kind of it. I like Oromancer. I actually like Blood Bullet Hunter Bat a lot. We could also play Mystic of the Hidden Way just as a three drop face down, and if we do get Cloud Shift, we can just like. Prophetic Prism, you mean? Prismatic Sphere, you mean? I think you mean Prophetic Prism, unless they're both. I don't even know what Prismatic Sphere is. Is that a card? I like Oromancer because you can get back things. So that's cool. I like getting back things. Whenever Creature in the Battlefield, that seems bad. I think it's just bad here. I also like the, the black-white Cloud Shift deck a lot. And we don't have to be blue for this guy. We can literally just play him as a 3-drop and then Cloud Shift him if we want to. If we can, if we're able to. Watch us get no cloud shift. This figure. Or Dauntless Cathar. I think it's Dauntless Cathar here. I feel like we're just going to be a lot more opportunities to get disfigures if we want them. Yeah, I like Cathar here. You take my life, but I'll take yours too. You fire your musket, but I'll run you through. Oh, Fencing Ace could be decent. Dece. 
Now I want to be blue now because we can get this retraction helix and this horseshoe crab. Hmm. Could also just be like a God's willing, which is unexciting. I think Helix is probably better than Crab here. Burnerator, welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it, dude. And of course, we get another Retraction Helix. Tap Enchanted Creature, untap Enchanted Creature. Freed from the Real actually seems pretty good. I mean, we can put this on, like, Angelic Page, and, like, it's just impossible to win combat, right? Twisted Image is also pretty reasonable. I kind of like Freed from the Real here. I feel like it's kind of broken. It's probably not broken, but it's probably pretty good, right? Also, this is a third attraction, Helix. Where, where's a crab when you need one? I actually like Curiosity a lot here. Hey, old Krabby came back. All right, so we're definitely blue here, which feels pretty good. Yeah, this art's real weird. Oh, Court Hussar? Yes, please. Is this common? Wow, that's great. That's a great common. Hey, Quicksilver Dagger came back. And we have a horseshoe crab? Oh, maybe we find a way to play this. Life finds a way. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna prioritize prophetic prisms real bad. Ormancer seems pretty good now that we have Curiosity freed from the real and Quicksilver Dagger. I'm gonna take the Ormancer. Uh Disenchant seems powerful here. Alright, I guess it's not it's not that powerful, Magic Online. Burn Raider, no worries at all, man. Um, I was glad to see you still in the Discord channel. I wasn't sure if uh, if you'd be able to still be in there, but it, apparently you get to stay in the Discord channel. You just don't get like the the emotes and stuff. So I, I mean, you you were you've been around since the dawn of time. So I I didn't mind at all, man. I'm glad you got. I'm glad things are less hectic for you, and I appreciate the the resub. So I don't like Arcane Denial because it makes my opponent draw two cards, which could potentially be better than the card I'm countering. I don't know. Drawing two cards is really scary. Giving an opponent two a free divination is really kind of scary. Chase the mind sculptor one time. Luminark Ascension. That's not nearly as good. Swords the Plowshare is better than Luminark Ascension, probably. Probably by a hundred percent, I think. Ugh, that's unfortunate. Countering your own spell with Arcane Denial seems pretty good, actually. It's like a three for two, right? You draw two as the spell's caster, and you draw one at the beginning of next turn's upkeep. Yeah, I'm just taking swords here. It's got to be swords. We have two disenchants in case you ever play against something, but I'm just going to take the swords. Maybe someone is, is drafting for value and they're not blue, so they just pass the Jace. I guess if they're drafting for value, that doesn't make sense, but... Whatever. I don't care. I'll take you, you take my life, but I'll take yours too. You fire your musket, but I'll run you through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Chupacabra? I'm going to take Cloud Shift here. Cloud Shifting Cordusar is good. Cloud Shifting Herbus Protector is good. Plus, we can get more things to Cloud Shift. It's basically a counter spell. It counters Chupacabra. Oh, God. Pernicious dude, you are actually the worst. I, I never wanted to I never wanted to say it, but you're actually the worst. 
Uh, is it when you? It's when it enters the battlefield, right? When it enters the battlefield, to sacrifice. Oh, it was sent to cast it. Yeah, that's a good point. I still think it's cloud shift, but God, chupacabra, and we have bloodhunter bat in the sideboard. There's no way we're not white, right? Oh, I accidentally took that. Oh, now we're definitely white. And now I wish I took the cloud shift. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we're definitely taking cloud blazer. Well, that's sad. Look, I, look, I'm trying to like, are you seeing like my, my cursor is down here and I'm trying to move a thing and it literally has taken the card the last two times. Can someone clip that to make sure I'm not going out of my mind? Can you watch where the cursor is and then clip it for me? That's infuriating, man. Pretty sure it's Prophetic Prism here. I drank your Diet Coke that was in the fridge. I made a mistake. <laughs> So I think Diet Coke is definitely an acquired taste. Like, I don't think I liked Diet Coke when I first started drinking it either. But I didn't want to drink soda anymore because the, the amount of calories in soda is just ludicrous. Especially, I drink a lot. Um, like, if I go to a restaurant and get a drink, I'll get like five refills, whether it's water, soda, whatever. So if I'm just drinking sodas, like, it's just... You end up having like 700 calories in soda, so it just didn't add up. Or it did add up, I guess, is the, the correct way to say it. Um... So yeah, it was just it just made no sense to me. So it was just like I kind of have to curb that, and I did so by just drinking diet soda, and I just got used to it. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, gets plus one plus one. This guy's actually fine. I mean, I I prefer Coke Zero, but honestly, I think the the difference is negligible. I will drink Diet Coke or Coke Zero. Court Hussar number dose. I think Squadron Hawk is good, but we only have this will be our first Squadron Hawk. Is it Court Hussar just better at this point? Um, I guess we take oh god. I think it's probably Hawk here with the hope that we can get a second or third Hawk. Wow, this is a late murder, dude. I like a Geist of the Moors. Probably better than a Griffin Protector. Actually, it's probably Mystic, right? Is murder. Chris, you're right, buddy. I apologize. I want to splash both of these, but they cost double black, which makes me sad. I take the protector because I think it's better on curve. I do like a sift. We don't actually have a ton of... Uh... We don't have a ton of card draw on this deck, so I want to take the sift. Oh, speak of the devil. Yeah, just take totally lost. Ooh, Fathom's here. Eh, Coral Helm Guide is playable. Retraction Helix, number dose. Fathom Seer is number two. So it says when Fathom Seer is turned face up, draw two cards. If you cloud shift to Fathom Seer, does that count? 
See, I wish we didn't have this ravenous chupacabra in the in the sideboard. I wish we had the actual uh, cloud shift that we should have, but we don't. Yeah, sideboard you, sideboard you. You're not great. I'm not even thrilled about Fathom Seer, to be quite honest. All right, we're still waiting for that Jace. I feel like we're going to be waiting for a while. Conflux. Yeah. Got a white main lion. I like a I like a man of war here. Yeah. It's definitely man of war. Especially when we get to especially once we once we hit those cloud those cloud uh cloud shifts. Like you do. Yeah, this is frustrating. Did anybody clip that clip that for me? I actually wouldn't mind another crab, which is awkward because we have twenty one cards and I really don't think I want to fill up with more crabs. I feel like I'm at a restaurant where I'm like, oh, I don't want to fill up on crab. I don't know if Freed from the Real is great. Like, it, it, it's a two-card combo with these, but otherwise it's not... Wow, Thalia? Thalia seems pretty good for us. It's probably the best card in the pack as well. I don't think it's worth anything. I think Thalia is, like, literally a dollar outside of... Uh, I think it's still Thalia. Because like, we have a lot of things to play uh, that aren't going to be affected by Thalia. So also, you guys, uh, you guys know how first strike works too. That's pretty. That's a pretty. That's a pretty heckin' good ability. There are no fixing lands in this set. I think the only fixing lands are the rare filter lands. So, not ideal. Which seems like a bad decision. Wow, R Rurikthar. I kind of like Ghost Ship here. I think it's probably better than third Griffin. Third Peter Griffin. And there's nothing else we really take over the Ghost Ship, I don't think. I mean, having triple blue up to regenerate, it seems pretty rough. God, can I get one cloud shift, please? Put this squadron hawk on the sideboard until we're ready for it. Until it's ready for its close-up. Uh, land cycling is not often considered fixing because you have to play... Like, if you have a blue card, the blue card gets an island, right? Or if you have a white card, the white card gets an island. So, like... Um, so, if you name it, like... I don't know. I, I didn't mean name it, actually. I was just reading uh, I was reading what Affinity said. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. I want to take the... I think the looter, because looter is great here. I'd like to take this counter spell, but double blue is not where we want to be, and Merfolk looter always makes the cut, so... Let me look at my clips real quick. I wonder how many people actually clipped it. Oh, we got the cloud shift that we were looking for. The, the cloud shift we were desperately looking for. That's pretty good. I just want to have one, especially because we got Mana War and uh, Cloud Blazer since then. 
Oh, I think two of you got it, which is great. Thank you guys so much for that. Um, I might just take the shot of my Gymfiltrator and splash it off of the prism again. All right, let's see what happened here. I still think it's Cloud Shift, but... God, Chupacabra, and we have Bloodhunter Bat in the sideboard. There's no way color. white, right? Oh, my God. Oh, I accidentally took that. Oh, I took that. That's amazing. The mouse never oh, leaves my... That. Right? That's insane. Oh, I accidentally took Can that. Can you guys watch that clip for me oh. just to make sure I'm not absolutely crazy? The mouse never leaves the... Uh... I still think it's cloud Here, shift, I'll, but... I'll post it for you. The mouse never leaves this area, this lower card area. That's unbelievable to me. Magic Online, man, you are crazy. Like, it's kind of a big deal because it was actually a playable card. Like, it's very rare that someone's going to complain that it mispicked a, a ravenous chupacabra, right? Like, that's kind of crazy. However, I'm not black. Wow, look at all these prisms we're getting. I don't bring a white main line. Now I need a bunch of cuts here. Uh, Amp007, I don't know, actually. That's a good question. All right, let's get rid of some cards here. We can probably get rid of Totally Lost. Wow, the Conflux came back? No respect to these people. I'm just going to take Cord Hussar. We can take rid of... We can get Ormancer out of here. I don't think I love... I'm not in love with Freed from the Real. Dragon's Eye Savant is fine. Yeah, but the zoom command doesn't also select cards. Like, watch. I'll put on a card I like, and then we'll zoom in on it, right? Uh, I'll take Red Elemental Blast. It won't matter. And we'll zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Like, it doesn't do it. Like, zoom in here. I can zoom in anywhere else, and it doesn't select the card. You see what I'm saying? I'll take an Arcane Denial. We might just need a hard, a hard counter spell. Take a Brainstorm, I'm sure. Pack 2 Jace, Pack 3 Foil Jace? That's utterly insane. That's not okay at all. So Horseshoe Crab, we have Retraction Helix and Quicksilver Dagger. I like the prisms because of these guys, and they also just trigger themselves. But we'd have to make two cuts. 16 creatures. I can see cutting a creature, definitely, but... Dauntless Katara is probably one of the weaker creatures, I think. Probably one Griffin Protector, I guess. I think our top end is real good. Yeah, this deck looks sweet. Nine, six, red, black. Nope, we're just going to go nine. We'll go nine, eight. And I think this is pretty good. Even if this just bounces one guy, it's still pretty good. And we have Court Hussar for card advantage, Court Hussar for card advantage, Sift for card advantage, Cloud Blazer for card advantage, Merfolk Looter for selection. I think we got a lot of things. I will play first. I don't know why this just automatically gets to this big. I will keep this hand. How do you feel about 
Thalia on turn two. Followed by Curiosity. I wonder how many cards we're going to draw if that happens. Uh, probably none, dummy. Oh, the Crab is also good for Quicksilver Dagger, so it combos with two cards, actually. So if we take out the Crab, we also have to take out Retraction Helix and Quicksilver Dagger. Which I don't think is great. I guess we can't play both next turn. Hmm, Coral Helm Guide, eh? Coral! Okay, that's pretty good. I think? Is that good? They just have to replay that guy, right? The next turn we can play Page and Curiosity if we want to. Eh, that seems fine. Curiosity costs two mana, which is why we didn't play it this turn. Oh, wow. Well, I see. So, we know one of your cards now. Uh, no blocks. You got it. Ooh, Nazumi Cutthroat. Here we go. Let's see if you want to trade. And by trade, I mean throw your guys away. This is a May ability? Oh, yeah. Definitely doing that. All right, so we did we did draw a card, so we broke even. So if they like Chupacabra, it's it's like nothing. It's like nothing happened. You take my life, but I'll take yours too. Pernicious dude, I kind of hate you. That's pretty good, right? I guess. I don't even know if that's good. I mean, we have Retraction Helix. Like, if they block, we can just Retraction Helix its face. Might just do it anyway. <laughs> Seems good. We got a Chupacabra. <laughs> Unknown urn. Nice. I'm a fan. Now you're just going to throw guys away, right? Yeah, sure. No? The other good. Oh, nobody. Just drawn a card. All right, now we're in good shape because we're just drawing extra things. You take my life, but I'll take yours too. You have to pay two to move that side. That doesn't make any sense. That's terrible lyrics. Who even wrote that? It's murder. It's morph. Duh. All right, so black, blue, that could be anything. Even a boat. Ooh, Shaddy Mage Infiltrator. Well, that guy's gonna, that guy's gonna do some good.
El Aztec, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. How many guys can you throw in front of Thalia to make it worth your while? Like a million, right? gonna be a land so we can discard it pretty easily could be a cloud shift yep that seems like an easy easy choice easy peasy japanese so what we can do flip this dude we could retraction helix we can retraction helix something like Mana War to bounce this guy and then attack with Thalia. She's a three. But if this guy's like the... Oh, they have no cards in hand. That's interesting. So if we attack, they're just going to block with Shadow Mage Infiltrator. Bouncing after blocks doesn't make any sense. Like, they just block with a 2-4. Even if we pump Dahlia, she becomes a 3-2. They just have to block with one guy. If they... Bouncing after blocks doesn't do anything. That just means our guy is tapped and they get to replay it. What are we bouncing the Psy with? Oh, Return of Nonly and Permanent. Oh! Yeah, that's a good call. I, I actually thought this was Creature. Because this is Creature, this is Creature... Oh, they were gonna were they gonna flip there? I guess they're still gonna flip here. Mystic. Do I care about that guy? Fear, fear. So three, four, five, six, six, seven. That's half our life. Yeah, this draft format seems sweet. I have no problem with this draft format. A lot of guys with fear, though, unfortunately. I think we can just take seven here. And we can white main line to get back Mana War next turn, and we can just bounce two things. It's not great, but... Why don't we block what with White Man Lion? This has fear, this has unblockable, this has fear. We can't block anything.
You gonna counter this guy? Okay. That was a good draw. It's always a good draw, isn't it? I think this is the worst creature we could have. Maybe looter, but I like the option to just actually have looter on board. Nope, not you. Three, four, five. Do we get to draw a free card here? No. We think he's eat a mana war though. Griffin Protecty. I feel like we're in good shape here. Like we have three, four, five, six, seven on board. That's unblockable. You take my life, but I'll take yours too. Nope, that guy has... Whew, that would have been bad, right? Go to three. Go to two, rather. Yeah, that could have been bad. No, oh, let's give the guy with uh, summoning sickness haste. Uh, or, you know, a tap ability, rather. Okay, so you're dead. Cool. So you're at seven. You don't have a flying blocker. This is seven. It takes my life, but I'll take yours too. Why are we doing this now instead of in blocks? Because they have no cards in hand. Doesn't matter. Because the sooner I show them what's up, the sooner they can concede if they want to. We saw Psy, but I think that was it. Uh, why didn't he kill? I can't speak for my opponent. I have no idea why he didn't kill me. They might have just missed the play. Not every not every magic player sees every single play that's available to them. Which is why there are varying skill levels in Magic the Gathering. So I just assume they didn't see the play that you may have seen. That is my assumption. I mean, there's really one answer to that, right? Like, why didn't they kill me? Well... The only reason you deliberately choose not to kill someone in a game when you have the win is because you don't see it. So they didn't see the win. That's the reason. 
I'm out of vitamin water. You are very observant, my sir. Thank you. I do what I can. I do what I can, Lucas. The cool thing about 220 people watching a game and some of the people seeing a line is that we have a collective knowledge, but they're one person. Um, no, oh, this hand is rough. Ugh. You can play everything. This hand is better given that... Oh, gross. Go, go away. Any blue source and we're great. Prophetic Prism on turn two would also be fantastic. Yeah, it actually wouldn't have won. We went to we went to two there, right? So instead, we'll take two points. So we take two extra points and we go to zero if they attack with Coral Helm Commander. So instead of bouncing a two power guy, we bounce a three power guy and we go to one. So it doesn't really actually change. It doesn't really change what happens. Especially because you don't know what's happening, right? So you want to you want to keep mana up for post combat in case I bounce something in case like it's just not it's not the win on board. If I have a bounce spell, I'm going to bounce a three power guy and go to one. So man, if this card dealt damage to creatures too, ooh, ooh. Taking it. Did they just attack? Did they just attack with Merfolk Looter? God, what a time to be alive, guys. What a time to be alive. Oh, God. Swords are the second blue source. I mean, next turn we can sift. I think it's just swords here. Swords seems... Swords is way better than a, a land. I don't care if we don't get to play Ghost Ship immediately. I'll sift. When will be the best time to buy Masters 25 singles on Magic Online? Any stuff like Jason Blood Moon at the moment. Price. Um, so here's the thing, Mr. Mr. Woe. Um, okay, I don't know what you have here. You, you clearly have Disfigure. So we're going to not block because two damage is not worth losing a core two star. Um, so my, my biggest thing, the biggest thing about buying singles is during pre-release week, not pre-release week, but like release week is probably the best time to do it. I hate to say it because they're probably still a little higher than you'd be comfortable with. However, that being the case, um, like they're just going to go up once they're not being drafted, they're going to go up. You know what I mean? Like that's what happened with iconic masters. That's what happens with all the master sets. Like, they're low now because everyone is dumping them. They're, they're, it's being the set is being drafted so much, um, that everyone just opens blood moons, opens, opens jaces, and they sell them back. You know, so the best time to do it is actually, like right now. Unfortunately, they got to keep their disfigure up. Boomblade, thank you so much for saying so, man. I appreciate it. What do I do? I just kill this guy? Do I just sword to this dude? And then play Mystic? What did they have last time? Did we even see it? Oh, it was a mystic of the hidden way. You're right. Like, we have no incentive to attack here. It just gives them a reason to... Uh... Man of War? What a dummy. There's no way he bounced my core who saw, right? 
That's too good to be true. I think we're just way behind right now. That's really sad. You fire a musket, but I'll run you through. Just this guy? Let's see what you are. Fathom Seer? Okay. That's cool. Hmm, that's cool. All right, now I'm actually feeling pretty good. We know you have this figure, but like we can cloud shift this guy if we need to. And next time we can sift and still keep up cloud shift. Yeah, I well, I tried to I tried to figure out if this guy dies. He just because it, it says winners that sacrifice that unless white was spent to cast it, and since you're not casting it, you're just like, oh, that's sad. I wish this Fallen Angel wasn't as scary as it is, but here we are. Pacifism? So we know they still have Disfigure in hand. <laughs> really? That's fine, actually. We'll just redraw that guy. I don't care. I'd rather cloud shift. I'd rather cloud shift the Cloud Blazer. Four twenty Cloud Blazer. Oh boy, I guess we're, oh, maybe we just save it for that. What's better, 4-4 four, four Angels or, I don't know, but boy, this Court Hussar is looking, actually, I was going to say this Court Hussar is looking real bad, but like, they haven't been attacking, so maybe it's not that bad. Send me an angel. Oh, that H3H3, oh, that H3H3 emote. Gas. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, I changed my background to Thalia. God, this looter's getting out of hand. Really? Really? Sure. I mean, they have two cards. We know one is a disfigure, right? So... And now we can freely attack with Court Hussar. Oh boy. Uh, we have a pretty good feeling. They attacked both of their 1-1s one into our 1-3. We have a pretty good feeling it's Disfigure. Our hand is gas. All right, getting getting cutthroaty. What's up, JC? We are in. We're up a game, and we are in round one. So not not too bad, I guess. I mean, we're just gonna block if you want a two for one. I'm down. I'm down the clown till I'm dead in the ground. Oh no. 
I have changed my mind. Good lord. Let's bounce this lady. Send me an angel right now. And then we can just go one, two, three, double court hussar. It could be actually unnatural stamina. That is a good point. I guess we take Prism so that our, uh... so that our Quicksilver Dagger can be online, which is actually pretty good on a Court Hussar, right? Attack with both, shoot one, draw a card. Oh God. All right, so you have, yep, here comes Angel. So you have either Stamina or Disfigure in one other card. Okay. it might actually it might be stamina actually maybe we're being too uh too conservative with the with the cloud shift here <laughs> sure we have a good time I feel like we're in good shape here. So we can deal six here. Well, we can't, I mean, we can blink, we can cloud shift cloud layers to gain two life, so. Pick three Ash Barons is value town. That card's like three bucks. And, like, we can attack with our ground guys, too, but then he gets, like, a bunch of good trades. Like, 2-2 two, two on 2-2 two, two gains them 2 life. 1-1 one, one on 1-3 one, gains them another life. So, like, they can just throw guys away at that point. Whereas, right now, they're just limited to uh, these 5. Which is still pretty scary. Like, they can attack with this guy. Puts us to 9, and then go sack, 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 sack. Puts us to 4. If they play another guy, puts us to 3. There's the disfigure, ladies and gentlemen. Called it, as we say in the biz. I mean, they're also going to get to a point where they just have to actually start sacking random dudes. And Fallen Angel is kind of their sack outlet, so... Uh, DBS? I don't know what that is. So I cannot say yes to DBS. God, two creatures is really scary. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We go to one. Oh boy, that's terrifying. 
So four, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're going to bounce Cutthroat, because if we bounce Fallen Angel, they can just replay Fallen Angel, and then they still have a Fallen Angel. Or if we bounce Cutthroat, they just replay Cutthroat, and they still don't have a Fallen Angel, so. If they want to sack now, like, we're going to deal four, five, six. Plus, we get to shoot with Court Hussar, which puts them to five. Lacerate will put them to four. I mean, they have to sacrifice a bunch right now. All right, sure. Urgrater. So he's sacrificing all the creatures that actually deal them damage. So this is going to deal you two. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Puts you to one. I'm actually surprised at how... Like, I think if we swords this Zulaport Cutthroat, it probably would have been better. We do get attacks, though, too, which is nice, so... And if they don't have Cutthroat on board, they only have three blockers. Which is like block, block, block. So, which means you get an extra point in there for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is lethal. That's one less blocker. Oh. That'll do, pig. That'll probably do. We can also bounce Cloud Blazer post combat. Or we can bounce Urbis Protector, I guess. So they automatically take four, five, six, so they go to three. Four, five, so they, they go to, they're dead, right? Wow, that was a good game. Our deck is sweet.
I am not watching the GP, but I keep hearing that I should be. It seems like they're 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 showcasing a lot of cool decks. Also, if you guys haven't done so, feel free to subscribe or follow the channel. Both of those help me, and you get to support me. So cool. If you guys are watching on YouTube right now, slam those like and subscribe buttons. I mean a ton. It means a lot to me. You know how you do on the YouTubes. I'll keep this hand. I like a Quicksilver Dagger and a Court Hussar. And a Retraction Helix and a Court Hussar. How long am I streaming tonight? I'll probably, this will probably be the one draft I do and then I'll come back later, probably around like 10 or 11 and do another draft, 10 or 11 Eastern time. I'm gonna go eat some food after this. But I will be back, so if you guys aren't following or subscribing, do be sure to do that so you can get notifications when I go live. You get the support me, that didn't work with my ex and it's not gonna work for you. All right, that's fair. That was a good draw. Do, 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 do. Oh, nothing, huh? Wow, these are. This is a situation where I'll just keep. If I, if I hit a blue, if I hit a a land, I'll just keep it. I was gonna say a blue, but I don't think it's actually specifically blue. I'll take any land here. Oh God, I want that shadow my jungle trader real bad. It might just be swords though. We don't need a fourth land at the moment. Hmm. I'm gonna take swords. I'm gonna be. It's not really greedy because we don't actually need it. We don't need the land at this moment. Um, swords is gonna deal with something that we might not have an answer to, and we don't. We can survive on three mana. Everything in our hand costs three or less, so. And I do believe that there will be more land coming through, so. And we would have felt real dumb if we just took the stupid land. Some type of mystical the hidden way? Maybe they don't know that there's a, there's a one mana trick. Alright, cool. You got it. You win this round, buddy. Do you? Do you win it, though? Oh, Hordling Butt Burst. This doesn't do anything, but it does let us kill your guy. You gain no life, good sir. Man, we're doing well. Flip them. Flip them and dip them. That's what I always say. Get the old flip and dip. Living death. I mean, we can retraction helix to save one of these guys. Doesn't seem terrible. We'd trigger twice on cloud shifting? How would that work? That's only one trigger, right? Oh, 
Oh, I do like that actually. We would get two. Oh, we would have got two triggers. That's a good point. I like that a lot. Wow. Easy pick. All right, now I feel worse about this game. Really? Block. We know one of the cards in your hand. Supernatural Stamina, sure. That seems like a fair trade. I'll trade a 1-3 for a Supernatural Stamina. That's pretty cool. What if I draw a Crab off of this? That'd be great, right? That's pretty good, too. Holy smokeroonies. Uh, I think we should actually put this on here. If they can kill it, they can kill it. It sucks. But they're going to be able to kill it anyway. It's murder. Yeah, that's fine. It's not great. It sucks. Protector into Cloud Shift seems good, though. And we got a murder out of their hand, so... We get to keep a 4-4 Angel. They don't have a 5th mana, though, which is nice. A 6th mana for the stupid Twisted Abomination, which is really keeping us in the game. Surprise, we're still alive. Yeah, it's hard to play around murder when you have uh, auras in your deck. Yeah, we're just going to block here. I think we just take four here. Like, we win this race. God, no play, huh? That's a little scary. I'm going to keep the planes in hand. We don't need an extra mana. And we, if we have Merfolk Looter, it's pretty good. Now we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 11 exactly if they tap out for Twisted Abomination or something. Yep, take four again. Go to 10. Take four again and go to 10. Do, 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 do. A do, 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 do. This is game one. Did we did we win game zero? Oh, I see what's happening here. No, I don't. Supernatural stamina.
<sighs> cool. Like you do. Kind of want Arcane Denial just to deal with living death. That seems annoying. And we already have one helix. I don't know if we want a second helix. Especially because of their black red deck, so they can just kill whatever we target in response. That seems pretty dangerous. I don't think I have the horseshoe crab for it. I think that guy's pretty weak. And we still have double hussar. Oh, this hand seems good. We'll keep this. Wow, that was amazing. I feel like there was actually nothing we could have said to ourselves. Like, we, we, there was no way to set it up and be like, well, what do we lose to here? And then we were able to pick, un, you know, them sacking their guy, supernatural stamina, and then uncaged fury. Like, there's no way you predict that. Just seems bad. Now we can, yeah. Now we can play around that. I would love a prophetic prism here into like a land. That'd be great. Then we can either draw a third, another land to wow, Kindle. I'm just gonna play looter here. Kindle the mana war. That's interesting. Missing a land drop and Kindle the mana war. Seems good. The problem was they had three cards in their hand, at least three, might have been four. So, like, it's really risky to just, like, try to... That guy's annoying. Well, let me get mana screwed this game, so that's cool. I mean, like, we've missed three land drops so far. I mean, I don't think this game would even be close. We can go Ghost Ship Cloud Blazer into, like, Griffin Protector. Instead, we're just attacking with this guy. I mean, they've also missed three land drops, I guess. But I imagine their plays are also a lot cheaper than four drop, four drop, five drop, three drop off color card. So. Hey, we did it, Reddit. Two four seems good. It gets around spike shot goblin, so that's pretty cool. Meanwhile, angelic page is pretty much a blank. I mean, sure. If you have another disfigure, it's fine. Oh, supernatural stamina, sure. I 
I feel like Supernatural Stamina and Disfigure are basically the same card in this set. Also, you could have Supernatural Stamina your Spike Shot Goblin and just killed anything there. That's interesting. And then you would have gotten more damage through. Oh, I guess you couldn't have killed this because it's 2-4, so. Close, but not exactly. Yep, I'm just going to keep blocking because we can't just take four every turn. I don't think we're winning that race. Especially when we don't have any guarantee that we're going to draw another card. Another land, rather, for Cloud Blazer. Yep, just gets scarier and scarier. All right, that's pretty good. That's probably going to seal some, some sort of deal. I mean, we get to take five here, but we have Cloud Shift and we have Arcane Denial. Is Supernatural Stamina uncommon in this set? I feel like I haven't seen it much, but maybe I'm just not looking for it. I think it's very good. Well, now we don't have as good of a, a deal going on here. Yep, that was pretty bad. They just happen to have the Kindle. So we got a six, we got a five here. Yep. And by five, I mean two, I think. One, two, so we got a three, and then they shoot us one more time. Shoot me, baby, one more time. Robert, sorry, buddy. I didn't realize you were in public. I think we just lose this. I think we just lose this game. I feel like their deck is just a little too aggressive for us, but we also got stuck on a million lands. And by a million lands, I mean we drew. We didn't draw a million lands, is what I'm saying here. Them kindling our cloud blazer and us being able to blink it in response would be so insane. Yeah, this set kind of makes you realize why fear is a less fun mechanic than menace. Fear is like so un fear is basically unblockable, right? Like, I mean, we don't have anything to block their fear guys except for Shadow Mage Infiltrator. The problem is we just don't have guys to block these guys. Like, this guy's going to put us to one in the next two turns. And the, so like we just have to deal with all of these guys and we just don't have a way to do it. Prophetic Prism. Shadow Mage blocks one, but then we still take one, two, three, four. I guess we can bounce this guy. One, two, three, four, five, four.
keeps us alive, but just barely. We can't even attack because we have to go relic, block, block, take two. Yep. There's seven cards. Like, I feel like there's no way we just actually. Dreadbang, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Just a lot of Nizumi cutthroats here. No attacks. Intriguing. can deal with two of them. <laughs> And that's literally if they actually... All right, we got two draws. I don't think it's going to do it, but... Does white mane lion do anything? Oh, wow, we're so close, dude. The funny thing is swords is the second draw. So, like, actually, power? Go to four, pacifism one. Oh, God. That is so frustrating. Swords can gain us three and put us up to four. And uh, we can only deal with one of these guys outside of the four. Wow. The problem is if we only drew one card, we would only drawn white main lion. So we wouldn't have actually even had a draw. Like we wouldn't have had swords if we didn't attack with Shadow Major Infiltrator. So it just negates one for one. I guess actually, yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. <sighs> and they're at one. God. That's super unfortunate, man. Oh man, it's funny because like if we had one more one more mana on the turn that we play we play Cloudblazer, we could have been able to blink it that same turn. Like Yeah, 
Yeah, Nizumi Cutthroat is actually probably one of the most oppressive cards in this format. If we sword to 3-2, we go to 4, and then we take 4 damage from Nizumi Cutthroat, so that's why we don't sword to 3-2. Uh, keep all day. All right, we did it. <laughs> Krasuski, man, thank you so much, man. Welcome 25 months in a row. That is awesome. Give me a two drop. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Jack of all trade nine months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Let's get crabby. Give V two months in a row. That seems that seems low, but I think uh I think that's I think that's incorrect. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Resif, three months in a row. Man, you guys are awesome, dude. Thank you, guys. The Prime Train is rolling. Um, I guess we're just taking other Court Hussar. Actually, we have Horseshoe Crab. Maybe it's Elix. No, we only have one blue. Court Hussar it is. Uh, crab can be good, but it's really hard to set up. Really? Wooly locks it on. Woo. Good deal. Get out of my life. Cloud shift. Oh, I'll take an island. What are you doing? Do I have to keep white main line up and bounce? Oh, you're just going to swamp cycle. All right, that's ex Connor Ryan, no worries, man. I appreciate your support either way. Don't even worry about it, dude. Thank you for thank you for subbing when you can. It means a lot. Eh, pretty sure it's actually just Griffin Protector here. Cloud Shift is good, but we already have a uh, a uh, lion in hand. Look at our look at our huge offense of one power guys. I wonder what that is. Give me a land so I can keep up. Oh. oh. You can escape my eyes. Gotta land. All right.
All right, so it's not the. All right, nothing, nothing, com nothing coming home. All right. I hate missing angelic page activations, but we wanted to keep it back. So. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Feeling a little more aggressive this time, I guess. No pumps. Let's see what you do first. You're gonna flip. What you're gonna do? I flip on you. I flip, flip, flip. I flip on you. What even is this? Turn face up. All damage that will be dealt to it this turn is dealt to target creature instead. You're gonna target our angelic page. I guess we just bounce the angelic page. Oh, I guess we could have pumped first, right? That would have been good. That seems like a good play. I feel like we're in good shape here. Unless they go, uh, unless they also have living death, which is almost worthy of tears if they do, because boy, that's terrible for us. They get gladiator twisted abomination gladiator back. Nyx fleece ram. So they can block three dudes. They'll block these three. They'll take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can also pacify one of them. And if they had Living Death, they would have just played it there, right? Like, I guess we're still going to keep... There's no reason to play Urbis, Urbis Protector here. Um, You're going to block here, block here. You're going to take four, five, six, seven, eight. Puts you to one and we lose a white main lion. That's pretty fine. You take... You, I guess you go to... Oh, all right, cool. I mean, you had an extra turn. Not sure it mattered, but you did have it. Didn't really see anything worth sideboarding here. They see your every move, baby. Oh, uh, this hand seems great. Man, we have nine blue and eight planes, and we always get three planes in an island. It's very weird. Yeah, keep the planes coming. I just want as many planes as I can get when I have the double blue card that regenerates for triple blue. That's exactly what I want. You know me so well, Magic Online. Fashionably late to the party. Sacrifice the search number for two basic lands that should put them on the battlefield tap. That's, this card's really good, right? You just get two forests here? That's pretty insane. Now they just ramp to five? Nope. No, they don't have a fifth mana. Nope. They just killed my guy. It's all happening. Well, watching the lines, you can't escape my eyes. 
If we draw a blue next turn, we can actually go Ghost Ship Curiosity, but I don't really feel comfortable throwing out a Ghost Ship or a Curiosity on a Ghost Ship without regeneration man up. Kava, 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 Chameleon. Oh, that was a good draw. I'm a fan of that draw. Unfortunately, we don't actually want to bounce their Kavu Climber. Because that, that just... You guys know why. I don't have to explain why we don't want to bounce Kavu Climbers, right? Of course they draw the Swamp that turn. Why wouldn't you? Oh, you have something for two mana. Interesting. But you couldn't play it because it costs three. That's intriguing. Oh, just a plummet. Oh, this is infuriating. Can't cast this. Can't cast this on anything. I don't really want to bounce a Chupacabra here. I guess we could bounce Loyal Sentry and then put Curiosity on here. God, that doesn't seem great at all, dude. This feels really bad. I don't feel good about this at all. Yep, here we go. Oh God. I just wanna vomit. I mean, we're not dead. We're not even close to dead, I guess, but Wow. Very aggressive. Pegasteed, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Give me a land so I can play Urbis Protector and then we can call it a day. Wow, you have something else. Decree of Justice. I didn't even know it was in this set. Make four one ones. Seems good. Draw a card. Wow, why is this in here? Oh, Twitch Prime subs are all the same as regular subs to me, buddy. I appreciate it nonetheless. Make no mistake. Oh, good. I'm tempted to just block here, kill their four guy. It's not great when you have these two, but I mean, it gets their three through off the board. Come on, Cloud Blazer, one time. Zombify. Cool. Gross. Are we dead? Like, we go block one of these guys, we take three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's just, this is dumb. Cortusar into Prism. Yeah. All right. So that was fun. Fun, not fun. Um, I think our deck is fine.
Oh, this hand seems pretty good, actually. I don't know, like, I, it's hard to, like, I feel like our deck is great, but, like, there's so many dumb cards. Like, Chupacabra is just a dumb card. Oh, that's that's a better two drop. So they have two epic confrontations, I guess. Two epic confrontations that disfigure a bunch of other stuff. How dare you, McCheesums? How dare you? Snorcrash, what's going on, buddy? Um, I'm actually gonna take the Shadow Mage Infiltrator. Loyal Butt Tree. Sure. I feel like we just get on the board, right? Crack this, get double, get the old double swamps for your chupacabra hand. Your the four chupacabras in your hand. This card seems great. This is just a natural ramps. This is like just a land that ramps you. Like what in the earth? What are they thinking? You can escape my eyes. See you later, nerd. Ravenous Chupacabra killing Thalia. Come on, we all know what's happening here. Cultivate. Cultivate into Disfigurio. Okay. Ooh, I might just want to keep that up. I don't feel comfortable not keeping that up with the amount of land they have, so we're just going to do that. Um... Yeah, you can just put that guy out of, out of get that guy right out, just straight out of here. God, they get to draw two cards. Just the grossest. I assume you're going to draw both. That is my assumption. We do put you to two, though. Seems good. Hundred percent cloud laser. All right, here we go. Is this enough nerds on the board? Do you get to go? Do you have the living end that we were fearing? All right, you're just gonna cycle decree of justice here, I guess. Which, if you cycle it for everything, you cycle it for five. You can't block this guy. You just you just throw away a bunch of dudes. Yep. So you block four. Seems good. It's 
So they have to block all these guys, so they're going to kill one of these two. Presumably. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're just going to pass like this. We'll keep Cloud Shift and uh, Prophetic Prism up. Oh, got him. Sweet. All right, our deck was looking pretty good there. Uh, our second round was just a little too fast for us, and also we um, got stuck on mana in game two. Game one, God, who can see the uh, Uncaged Fury Strength... Uh, un stamina Strength... I don't know what the card is called. And... Um, sacrificing their dude to make a 7 4 uh, 7 5 I don't know whatever anyway thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it be sure to slam on those like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you next time